I was with Ray Charles and he awed me with his songs. It was way back in the 50s when we heard him every day and he helped me out with love and songs and his music showed the way. And when he sang Your Cheatin' Heart and Georgia on My Mind, it really tore my heart out to know that he was blind. But he saw more than you and I as he walked life's bumpy road. And It's okay. Take, take, take a minute. It'll come. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what life's bumpy road. And he sang away his load. Um, he poured his heart and soul out as he pounded on his keys. And when he sang your and when he sang religious songs, it put me on my knees. You're up there with the angels now. I know they're glad you came, but Ray, we'll always miss you, and our world won't be the same. Wow. <laughs> do my song, do mine. My song. You really want me to? Yeah. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> I had to... Um, this is called From Ben. Okay. And... We had to write a resume for him some, for some geological work he was doing for a Canadian mining firm. And because he never went to school, he got a little bit uptight when it was time to write something. And he was bugging me to get the resume done. And uh, so he said, did you write anything? And I said, yeah, I wrote, I was raised near Old Death Valley, one hill over from Blue-Eyed Sally. He said, you didn't really write that, did you? And I went, no, I'm just teasing you, honey. Don't be so serious. Yeah. So he went to watch TV again, and when the next commercial came on, a poem had come to me, and I'd written it down. And he told me that I couldn't have written the poem in that length of time, but I did. <clears throat> okay, here it is. <laughs> Bury me up on the Oregon Bell. Light some dynamite and run like hell. Then my dear wife, please wait three years. Then go to the mine and dry your tears and pick up a shovel and dig so bold for my bones will have turned to solid gold. And no one knows just what we've done to make that mountain admit we've won. And honestly, my dearest honey, I really need to make some money so I have to go there every day. Cause I was raised near Old Death Valley, one hill over from Blue-Eyed Sally, but I never got to socialize. Cause life was cruel, and there was no school, and the food I got was just what I shot. I wanted a radio, wanted a wife, a, li a lawn, let's see, um, a wife, a lawn and some bona fide friends. But I got kids and pets and bills and hardly ever any frills. Now I got me a bulldog, a brand new truck, a wonderful wife and lots of good luck. Mining partners at number four, adventures and happiness galore. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's it. That's it. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I kind of goofed up on that Ray Charles poem. Oh. And then when the movie came out, I had given Butch a copy of the poem. And he jumped up after the movie. We all went together. And he said, they should have had your poem on the screen right before the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you guys have come a long way. <clears throat> 1959. Yeah. Raised a family. Many other people have stayed here through your lives? Yep, it's gone by in the blink of an eye. Looking, looking back on it, is, if there was a moment you would want to relive, just one, what would that be? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a tough one. That's wow. a very tough one. Well, heck, for me, it was my 70th birthday when 25 women put on a surprise party for me at the Red Lobster, but for he and I... I <laughs> think you'd like to relive that yeah, one over. Yeah, that was a biggie in my life. But for he and I together, um, God, what, will, what would be an ultimate moment? Oh, there's been so many good ones. 
anniversaries, like our 50th. Yeah. We're, ha we're 50, we've been married 53 years, but we fell in love in 55. So, yeah. it's been more than that. Um, it's been very good. Birth yeah. of a child. Uh, oh, well, yeah, all those were. Amazing, huh? Yeah. And the birth of, we've got many, many, many grandchildren. <laughs> And yeah, great grandchildren. grandchildren yeah. <clears throat> we have, let's see, 16 grandchildren, 11 great grandchildren, and three great great grandchildren. Yeah, we, we did go forth and multiply. <laughs> <laughs> One thing Ben left out of his story uh -huh. that I should mention that I noticed when I saw it was okay. when. Two days after he got back from the desert and his mother took him to the Hollywood Temple, mm -hmm. and that was a very, very poignant moment, um, he... Uh, yeah, we didn't talk about that moment uh, when you had heard the opera singer. His feet were black and he had calluses two inches thick, and he didn't have any proper clothing and neither did his mother. And she tried to make him wear some harachis, and he said they were girl shoes and he wouldn't wear them. And his mother was crying. And by the time they jumped on the streetcar street and got to the Hollywood Temple, her eyes were still red. She was still upset. And Yogananda was already up in the front speaking. Uh -huh. And he saw him come in. And um, he had given Ben a very, very loving look when Ben was two and a half that Ben never forgot. Ben remembers everything. He has a really good memory. And he was happy to see that Yogananda still looked at him that way. And so after almost an hour of sitting there, he wasn't used to sitting still. And he asked when everybody left, and a lot of people were standing around waiting to speak with Master and Ben, um, finally, uh, his mother and Yogananda were talking. They hadn't seen one another for a little over 10 years. And so I think, well, Ben was two and a half when he had last seen Yogananda at the spot where Encinitas would eventually be built. It wasn't there then. But um, there was... Uh, Ben asked if he could go out, walk around, and Yogananda told him he could. And he, as he started out, an opera singer started singing in a brick building right behind. Mm -hmm. Ben had never heard music like that. He was totally enthralled. And he stood out there, walked around, and listened to that lady stood just a little ways back from the window and sang. The funny thing is, Years later, Ben and I went to the Hollywood Temple, and we were with a friend that led the way up to sit down for the service, and we sat in the exact same spot where Ben and his mother had sat all those years ago. Yeah. Now the chairs were different. And Yeah. We, we the facade, the everything was different, but we sat in the same spot. Yeah. And, uh, that was the first time you ever heard opera yeah. in your life? Yes. Well, what they, was that yeah. like for you? It was so beautiful that, you know, I was just totally consumed in it. You know, I just went, wow. This lady, I never seen her, but I thought to myself that she must be a very beautiful lady because her voice was very pretty. Wow. Uh, and I remember it so well, I can still see it today. Yeah. So. Well, the two of you have obviously been intertwined with Yogananda from a very long time ago. Yeah. We kind of went over that story. Uh, but uh, if there was a message that the, the two of you would want to say to him uh, about him and his his life or how he's worked for you or you've worked for him and if he was sitting here in that chair you know just what would the two of you like to say to him well you know after thinking about it yesterday when you asked me that question and I I've, I've pondered on it since then and he's had presence in our life 
and I feel guided by him. I always have for years now. And uh, I think I would tell him, thank you. Thank you so much for protecting us and our families. Yeah, that's, I think that's what I'd say. And I'd say, you were right. The greatest thing you'll ever learn is to love and be loved in return. Yeah. yeah we've ironically. Always loved, <laughs> we've I, always loved each other. <laughs> yeah. Ironically so, after what comes out of everything. Yeah. We got the message and we got it right. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. Let me come over so that I can get in the picture here with you guys. <laughs> And, and tell you, uh, it was a wonderful couple of days. Thank you. Well, thank you, and, yeah. and you've been so welcome here, yeah. and uh, and always will be. Well, thank you. Yeah. It's like new family. What can I say? You know. So, uh, <laughs> well, thank you. Well, yeah. We love you, yeah. Robert. Well, we love you too. I love you too, and <laughs> hopefully one day, you know, Marianne will will come with me and we'll come up and that would be great spend we a little that. more time together we certainly hope so <laughs> so thank you guys again thank you thank and you. we drop everything as much as we can drop everything <laughs> on this place <laughs> as much as we can yeah.